And I want to also get at uh, homosexualities one more time with this video, just to top it all all off. And um, what I want to get at is that, um, and in the and and for the balance of ourselves, balance of our life, balance of our individuality, balance of spirituality. I've I've come to a realize and I've read that um, get uh, closer to the third eye and all of that mysticism, a telekinesis, and all these things that we talk about in the videos. Um, there there is specific energies that need to be together to create balance in the individuals, and that means separate genders, male gender and the female gender, two separate individuals. A separate male individual with a penis and a separate female individual with a vagina. When they come together, they create a symmetry. They create a balance and a spiritual balance of energies. They're both separate energies, male and female energies. But that can only be between two heterosexual and a heterosexual um, um, partnership of sexual um, deeds. You know, a two, two, a male and a female in a heterosexual realm coming together in a sexual way in order to create a, a balance of a rhythm in life and in, and in the universe now um, and now uh, in, in terms of what we speak about the third eye and the spiritualism homosexuality is never mentioned uh, they are their own individuals but they do not hold a place as drastically as um, as a separate man and a woman coming together heterosexual heterosexuality is the biggest chunk of meaning heterosexuality is what perpetuates life heterosexuality is what brings rhythm and balance to give symmetry to the world and the spiritual world the connection to the people what happens is that the male needs to be a man he has feminine aspects to himself but they're very subtle but it's a perfect balance much more male and some feminine aspects but not too much and the male still acts like a man and the man needs to be who he is he cannot like in the times we live in men are trying to almost become psychologically and physically transformed into females feminine become feminine too over drastically losing their masculine ways and the females are losing their feminine ways trying to become masculine becoming overdrawn becoming overemphasized in masculine mannerisms and acts and and not only that, the male and female heterosexuals are separating. That's what homosexuals want. They want the separation of, of heterosexual relationships to dissipate so that they become homosexual. Males with males and females with females. That creates a whole, a whole uh, a, that, that creates a destruction of the balance of the universe and the balance of the energies that we all feel day-to-day -day life when we live in our country. Mental energies, the energies of our spirit flows through the air. And when we have that disruption that they're trying to cause, the homosexual agenda is trying to cause on heterosexual, on heterosexuality, that causes a disruption. So homosexuality is causing disruption in the very nature of aligning your chakras, of taking hold of your third eye, of becoming spiritually enlightened. Because you have to be, if you're a man, find those enlightenments, rely on your chakras look into your third eye find things predict your future understand yourself become spiritually balanced if you're female do the same align your sartras look into your third eye become spiritually balanced use telekinesis to play around with things you know have fun but you still have to be a man a man and a female a female and you have to and in order to create to complete that balance if you're a man you have to look for a female to complete that balance of who you are if you're a man Look for a partner that is opposite sex so that you can perpetuate life. Have sex with the females so you can have children. And what happens is that when a man has sex with a female, what happens is, is that when they're done having sex, done having intercourse, they become whole in themselves. Their energies uh, um, um, exchange. The, the male gets the female of the energy, female energy, and the female gets the male energy in them, and they become complete after the sexual intercourse they become whole and balanced in a heterosexual nature and that's what creates the ultimate balance of spirituality is sexual is, is heterosexuality in a male or female in a heterosexual in a heterosexual uh, communion
of a sexual deed, heterosexual deeds. And then what happens is, is that the man feels complete after the sex, and he's and the one important thing that you that we all think after sex, we feel so good, is that I am. I am. I am complete. I am me. I am the universe. I am this. I am that. The female thinks the same thing. I am. I am complete. I am connected to the universe. I am spiritually connected. I am spiritually awakened. I am. After that heterosexual act was done between the male and female. I being male and am being female. I am. Because the exchange of the energies between male and female, they both say the same thing. I, man, am female. I am. I am complete. Not that you become female or that you become male. Or if you're female, you become male. Or if you're male, become female. Not that. But that you exchange and you you exchange the feelings and energies of each other in a, in a, in a very um, respectful, um, this very, very respectful, loving manner. Acknowledging. A female's energy, a female acknowledging a male's energy, respecting but still being a female, respecting and still being a male, separate, two separate genders. What the females do is they create a lot of destruction. When, whenever, whenever there's a, 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 a what well, homosexuals are trying to create this ba a balance of that, they're going against the grain. They're going against the the. The, the the function of life they're going against the flow of what we need to be and that's very very wrong we cannot have that and and as years pass when we have a first gay president we look back we have to see that things are wrong you know we cannot have that transformation of males becoming female and females become male we cannot have that and we also cannot have pedophilia that's a whole nother thing but there's a lot of corruption going on and only through uh, in being enlightened through tele use, utilizing telekinesis, utilizing balancing your chakras, becoming and respecting the the union and marriage between a man and a woman, can we find balance? It, that's the ultimatum. That is it. That is it. This is the end all be all. There cannot be an alternative to to sex life. There cannot be an alternative to to having sex with someone else and expecting that 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 mutual exchange, even though in the historians there is Egyptians there was signs of homosexuality Egyptians, it's because they were misled a lot of times. Only some of them were fully enlightened. Some of them were still disarray and 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 confused, just like how we are now. You know, but we're in the future. We have so much information we can learn to better ourselves to follow the right path. Back then, they had trouble following the right path too because they had their own egos and their own personalities. They were in conflict themselves. Sure, they heard about things and they saw things, but they were lost. Just like here, we're lost, but we're in the future. We have so much information on the internet. We can find the real truth, the real path, the ultimate path to end all paths. Heterosexuality, the energy, the telekinesis, uh, chakras, aligning your chakras, um, 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 harnessing your pineal gland, going into your third eye, going to a spiritual world, becoming psychic, becoming one of yourself, becoming full. This is the video to end all homosexual uh, dis, um, you know, uh, on, on, on discussions. It's over. It's, it is over. And as people become more enlightened and they learn more about aligning chakras and energies, and telekinesis, they're going to read more about it on the internet and they're going to find the truth. The truth is there. And the truth is continuous, like I say. It never stops. It never, never stops. The truth is something that is not a trend. It is not a passing phase. It is truth. Truth is constant. Just like the earth. The earth makes grass and trees and it never changes. Every year there's constant seasons. Every year it's consistent. It's the same damn thing. If the earth were the... Um, go off course and and make the grass uh, purple or something like that it will cause a negative effect on us the earth is not selfish it does things that it knows to to allow us to exist on earth it's keeping a consistency because it knows what's right green grass gives off oxygen and two green leaves give out oxygen to allow us to breathe if the earth were to go and deviate off its nor normality and create uh, mutations and different radical things it would have a direct drastic negative effect on the human beings so we have to follow what's right that is what right 
The earth knows what's right. The earth knows we just have to follow the earth. Ricky says for this, thank you guys for watching. And this is it, man. This, you know, watch this video, become enlightened. Homosexuality is not the way. If you're a man, don't follow the homosexual styles, the hairstyles or plucking the eyebrows too thin. Don't don't follow the trends of becoming a femininely uh, following their mannerisms, feminine mannerisms. Don't become homosexual. Don't become the image that they want you to be. Don't, be. don't become the shape of the image that they are. Deviate and go in yourself. Progress. Become self-progressive. Do not follow a false progression. The government is leading us through a false progression. A lie. The only real progression is self-progression. And when we find ourselves, then we connect with others and have respect. And when others find their own progression, then everybody comes together. And their own individual progression, we become together. And our own individual enlightenment, we become together. Homosexuality is not good. It's wrong. And the truth will come out. They're going to try to suppress it. They're going to try to you know, trick you in believing that, that whatever I'm saying is wrong. But it's there. Look it up. Male and female energies. Third eye. Google it. Um, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, a spiritual enlightenment. Find those things, you know. I am. I am. Heterosexuality. I am.